place the clean out door on top of the side and then screw the hinges in. There are four pilot holes in the front. That's how you put the front and the back onto the sides. I'm standing in front of the coop and I want to be able to access my eggs from the left side. That's the side that I'm going to see from the house. So if you have windows, put the side with the windows on the side that you plan to access the eggs. This one's on the left. Install the sentinel supports utilizing one and a quarter inch screws and the tool holes in the front and the back. Make sure that the sentinel post with the hole is the one that goes in the front. Find the two rods that are L-shaped. They have a hole in one end. Screw it in, but not all the way, so that this L piece can rotate. And then take the second one and a quarter inch screw and put it part way in so that your L-shaped rod can rest on it. Since we're accessing the eggs from the left side, we're going to put the roosting pole on the right side of the coop. Find the pilot hole, as shown here, on both the front and the back. Locate the two 35.5 inch pieces and the 7 inch piece, and drill the 7 inch piece in between at 13 inches to make the H pole. Place the H pole inside the coop with the smaller of the sides pointing towards, in this case, the left side where we're going to access the hens. Notice we also have our roosting pole, again, opposite from the side that we're going to access the eggs from. The waterer rests on the H pole next to the nesting box. If you received your coop in the mail, we removed the roof truss. Find the roof truss that matches the roof panel based on whether there's tape and screw the hinges back in. Take the roof panel, slide it onto the coop so that it is flush with the sentinel post as well as flat with this. Using the pilot hole, screw both sides in. Before you put the narrow roof screen on, put a about a 45 degree bend in it right down the middle. Using a washer and a big headed screw, attach the screen to the two by twos. Take the sentinel, place it on top of the sentinel post and make sure that when you put it on that this edge is aligned with the roof edges. Put the two screws in and once you've got that done, Go ahead and lean on both sides of it to get a nice angle on the roof sentinel. Use the touch-up paint to paint that seam the same color as your house. 